I'm excited to show you what I've been working on these past couple days. I've been making mini calendars for the new year. Let's quickly go over a few different ways to make as well as display these adorable 2024 handmade calendars. For this one, I decided to go with a theme of crystals and stones. This was my first time attempting crystals, so some of them could use some work, but overall I'm happy with how they turned out. I was inspired by the colors of the birthstones. Garnet, amethyst, aquamarine, diamond, emerald, ruby, peridot, sapphire, tourmaline, citrine, tanzanite. And this was honestly the perfect project for me to use metallic paint to add sparkle and shine to my crystals. As I flip through, I'm trying to tilt the pages back and forth so you can see all of that sparkle. I used Arches 140 pound hot pressed watercolor paper. It's thick enough for what we need with a smooth surface. I used a piece of cardstock for my backing, cutting it just slightly larger than my calendar pages. While I normally prefer cold pressed, I thought the smooth surface of hot pressed made more sense for when I use my stamps. I highly recommend placing these on a clear acrylic block to make the stamping process easier. I went with an archival ink, Ranger, which I use for almost all of my projects. If you don't have stamps, I would suggest using a straight edge to make the rows and columns, and then write the numbers in by hand. Or you might be able to find a free printable calendar online and print directly onto your watercolor paper. Once the paper was cut into three inch squares, I use this mini cinch to cut out the holes and bind the pages together. I'll likely do another video in the future showing in detail how this handy little tool works. If you don't have a cinch, no worries. For the second example, I punched out two holes and I use this rustic twine to hold the pages in place. Now, let's look at two ways to display these mini calendars. I found this wooden easel at a craft store a while back. It's probably about four to four and a half inches tall, just right for a desk or a shelf. Or, Using one or two adhesive magnets, you could display this on your refrigerator. These are the metallic watercolors that I used. The brand is CSY Art Gallery. You can find this info in the description. I'll also link my recent video where I tried these paints for the first time and really put them to the test. I think this would make such a sweet and thoughtful gift for someone, especially for those January birthdays. As we finish up here, I'd like to go over some more watercolor calendar ideas that you might choose to try. Flowers, birds, nature scenes, fruits and vegetables, wildlife, or even architecture. I can imagine a mini calendar with historic buildings in watercolor would be beautiful for someone feeling up to the challenge. I'd love to hear more ideas in the comments if you'd like to share. Thank you so much for watching.